Bro, we are saying goodbye to the FRS. Because it's getting wrapped. LuxDesigns.com. L U X E Designs N H. Oh, well, you said it. LuxDesignsNH.com. This man is a rapping boss. If you check out his website, he has a bunch of really awesome photos. You guys will have already seen one of the pictures that he sent me of the color wrap that we're going to be wrapping this thing. It's going to be pretty dope. He's coming back. Probably about a week, honestly, because he's ordering the wrap and everything. He's fixing it down. He's doing all sorts of dope crap. Right now, we're going to have that stance look. Nobody else has up here, man. So, yep. definitely go check his website out. Contact him. He wraps your car for a very low price, man. And you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at the same, the same spelling. Right on. <laughs> Next time we see that thing, boys, it's gonna look a lot different, man. Apparently, I'm not gonna be supercharging this because there are different turbos out there, and I do want that turbo. Pss. That's right. just so cool. So, go with a smaller turbo. Bye, buddy. Go with a smaller turbo, and basically, you'll still be able to get the power that you want because it's not like you're building a 900 horsepower car here. Um, and then you can still save on economy when you're not in boost obviously I mean, right. it's not like you're going to be in full boost 24 7 so you can still get the general oem standards of the car you know being good on gas and whatnot and you can still have the power that you want to play with right um, if you go with a supercharger what happens is is you're actually mechanically linked now given that there's a you know age-long back and forth about which is better turbo or supercharger um supercharger is actually it's just strain on your motor. It's always running. That, I actually didn't think of that. And we do have a Boxster. As much as I love this car, bro, there's no denying they're not the best engines. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're not the best. Right. So, turbocharger, less strain on your motor, and you can still keep your gas mileage. Right. And you can still have a ton of power. Just go with something smaller, that's all. Cool. Now, if you were going for like 600 horsepower, absolutely, it'd probably make sense. To well, eventually like I do want to do that, but that's gonna, that'll be engine swap time, boys. <laughs> you know? Another phone call. <laughs> right, yeah, pretty much. Paul. I don't have the tools yet. Yeah. Like, I'm learning, like, I've had friends, like, help me, like, put on the coilovers yeah. and do everything that I've done to it so far, and it just really comes down to the tools. Yep, it you really is. Engine shit I'm not gonna do on my <laughs> <laughs> my own but and patience right bro you guys don't even understand man like i roll my windows down to start my car and let the idle set but god damn brother the mosquitoes are absolutely fucking insane dude we are actually gonna go up to my dad's Come pull us over. 
said your fucking trash is in the way. Look at how much further his clutch goes. That's like, that's insane how fucking far down it is, dude. Mine's like nothing. Alright. Cold start. If I can figure out how. I did in. It needs to uh, warm up, that's why it's not. Inside. He left his Denali running. He forgot to shut it off when we left. Room. Yeah, Dumbass. Pretty good fishing spot, boys. Always in the rapids are the good areas. You know what I mean? I I see your video. I'm moving yeah, next out. week I'm buying. You saw my video. Next week I'm, I'm buying the Jigsaw 750 Suzuki. I don't Street know bike. what that. Oh no way! Nice. Yeah. This is John. Yeah, <laughs> what's up? What? No, not that one. You gotta open the black one first. Here. Okay, so this goes what with it. <clears throat> Trust me, I know you're gonna like it. This is... garbage guy picked up too, huh? Yeah, Delilah was. See if you can see tell. What, what is it? Did. What do you think it is? You know what it is? What is it? Show Daddy what it is. No. It's a movie projector. Oh, cool. You got a movie theater and, now. And that's the screen uh, that goes with it. Yeah, cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. High five. Boom. What is it? Holy shit. It's a movie projector. Wow. We finally were able to give it to her. All of those other files that you guys ended up seeing after Paul came to pick the car up to wrap it and all that sort of stuff. Those were just files that I actually had saved up and I just never ended up using. So this next week, videos are gonna be pretty hard for me to make since, I mean, I know I do motivational stuff as well, but there I always add a touch of cars into the videos. You know what I mean? So with me not having my car, it's gonna be kinda hard to like come up with video ideas for you guys, so there is a few things that I would like to ask you. Need for Speed Heat, I've been using that game to get the design of the car that I'm, that I'm gonna be having within the next week. And then the whole reason I brought that up is because I could play some, a little bit of Need for Speed on the channel. I mean, it's a car racing game. We don't even have to race. We just like customize cars and make them look cool. That's like my favorite thing to do in the game anyways. But the other thing is a couple of questions. I can answer some questions for you guys. It's not just my car, you know what I mean? It's like not having my car isn't like that big of a deal, but like for me to go out and do stuff, I need my car, you know what I mean? So it's like without my car, I can't get anywhere to do stuff with you guys. All I'm doing is going for a walk right now. I have no idea who that was. Um, but all I'm doing is going for a walk right now, so I very highly doubt you guys just want to listen to me walk and talk, uh, but by all means, if you guys do want me to do that, <laughs> fucking let me know in the comments, because hey, that's an easy video for me, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, I hope all you guys are staying positive during these times like this. I didn't want to just leave you guys with the video earlier on just about how life sucks right now, just to remember the goals and dreams, because that reminder that I always do, you know, it's times like this when you're down and you're not feeling good, that's when you forget about those goals and dreams. So, you know, with that like little reminder there, it's like you can remember what you're actually pushing for in your life. That's the other Subi word. That's the guy that works at Hannaford. Um, or that's an 86 but anyways man i do i hope you're staying positive but yeah
that's gonna bring us to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, man, if you did enjoy it, throw a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new, you like my videos and that kind of stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.